when I was 12, 13 years old, I started watching the stars. Uh, and since then, uh, continuously, uh, I've been watching the stars. I'm still learning from him. Uh, I met him uh, while I was working in the tourism industry. The interesting thing is that uh, in the first two or three years together, we couldn't see many stars because we lived mm. on the Gold Coast. Yeah. It was a terrible place for stargazers. Mm. I almost gave up uh, on the hobby because uh, to enjoy the night sky, you have to drive at least half an hour, one hour to reach the uh, dark sites. And you, don't, you can't do that every night, you know, just a couple of times a month. We didn't give up completely. We occasionally went out to the dark sites, but uh, it wasn't very um, enjoyable experience there. So, yeah, and uh, since mm -hmm. we came here, we've been uh, watching the stars almost every clear night with the uh, guests. Mm. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why we choose this place. In uh, somewhere inland, we can enjoy stargazing. Um, by ourselves, not traveling to somewhere in the dark. Um, so here you can enjoy the night sky every night. The idea of combination of uh, stargazing with a D and B operation is perfect for us because we still can enjoy stargazing by ourselves, but we can share our passion with other people, especially for our guests, uh, with our guests. We open the, uh, this B&B, but in any business, like in any business, the first three or four months is a very anxious moment. Because of the internet, people are interested mm -hmm. in coming to Australia, the Southern Hemisphere, uh, luckily found us, and uh, they started uh, staying with us, and some of them come back every year. And, but still, we don't uh, widely advertise us as the place for stargazing. We still expect the ordinary people or general tourists uh, to experience stargazing. And the interesting thing is some of the people say after the night sky tour, they say, oh, I have to buy a telescope. So that's um, sort of a success, I think. That's what we want to encourage the, our guests to feel. Structurally, the telescope is very simple. Uh, it took me only three weekends to build the telescope in the garage. The mirror is the heart of the telescope, and you have to have a very good mirror. In a typical uh, night sky tour, we start with nearest objects like planets, Jupiter, um, Saturn, things like that, and then we go on to uh, star clusters, which are relatively close to us and occasionally we mix them with uh, nearby stars. And uh, when I explain these things, I always use the light years to express the uh, distances. To describe the uh, size of the galaxy, for example, I say, well, if you travel at the speed of light from one end of the galaxy to the other end of this galaxy, it will take you 100,000 years. You say, wow, oh, we are very small, aren't we? Almost all of our guests say, we are destroying our planet. Mm. And looking through the telescope is a live experience. It's not looking at the books or you know, pictures or DVDs. It's a live thing. You will see you know, um, faint objects. It's moving because of the um, atmosphere um, um, imbalance. Or you will see sometimes uh, satellite running through the I feel. So that's the live things. And, and if you look at them, Jupiter, they will change every minute. Uh, not not min minute, <laughs> maybe, but uh, it's changing all the time. When you look through the telescope, everything is shimmering, twinkling. And if you're looking at a gigantic gas cloud, it's almost three-dimensional. You can see the depths. Mm. That's the difference between marveling at beautiful images, photographic images. 
I wish I could have three or four lifetimes because there's so many things to see. <laughs> The sky mm. keeps changing all the time, and different e as I said, the different year you can see different stars. So it's always something to see. And the surroundings are uh, becoming brighter, unfortunately, uh, because of the lights of neighbors, and uh, that's a ine inevitable thing. But um, I hope uh, this darkness should be kept uh, for a long, long time for the enjoyment of um, you know, the night sky for everyone. <laughs>